Okay. Are we on again? It says rotate device, girl. Oh, that's going to be one of the long short ones. It says rotate it. All right, whatever. All right, welcome back to a live episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. I just got done with one earlier, and I hope you are enjoying these. I love the comments. Thank you so much. Um, but today, on this live episode, I'm making a Atlantic salmon with lots of garlic and a lemon juice. It's going to be this bathed in all that deliciousness. Um, but I'm also making what um, I used to eat all the time growing up. We call it a wilted lettuce and onion salad. It's so delicious. It's so amazing. It's so easy to make. And I just wanted to share this with you. I've already got both these recipes on my cooking channel in the kitchen with Sandy. Um, but I'm making this today and I wanted to reach out to you guys because I haven't talked to you in a while or filmed in a while. So here I am again. So let's go. Let's. I want you to look down here what we got. So simple and easy. The wilted lettuce salad is amazing. Um, all you need is some leaf lettuce or any type of lettuce that you desire. I've already washed this really well. Make sure that you wash your lettuce because, you know, people are out there picking stuff and you don't know what, what else they're picking while they're picking that. So make sure you wash your greens really well. I've already fried some bacon um, nice and crispy. I've got some onions here. And normally this, this wilted lettuce and onions is green onions, but... Somebody forgot the green onions today at the grocery store, and somebody wasn't going back to get them. Somebody had spent an hour and a half in Kroger's, and I wasn't going back. I've also got some garlic here, a nice lemon, and I want you to look at this beautiful piece of fish. This is absolutely beautiful. This is just the um, Atlantic salmon. They had it on sale at Kroger's for $7.99 a pound, and I was tickled to death. Um, and I've got a few pats of butter here, and we're going to use some garlic and some olive oil. So, with that being said, I, what, what I want you to do here is, I like to take my fork and then just kind of pierce it a little bit. Oh, it's so tender. Oh. Just a little bit because you're going to kind of spoon on the butter and olive oil and the garlic as it fries there. Um, I already have these recipes on my um, cooking channel, In the Kitchen with Sandy. If you have not yet subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on because I make some good stuff. No worries, this is just butter on my knife, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half just for easy, easy frying. I probably should have done this before we get on here, because I don't have to fool with. And I have left this, I, I bought this with the skin on. That's going to be kind of hard to get through there. I'm just going to cut it right in half. You didn't have to cut it in half if you didn't want to, but... I did it just to make it easier to maneuver around the pan. I love salmon. My daughter loves salmon, and I thought I would treat her today. Let me get a little soapy water on my fingers there. Um, because I feel bad. Because I told you in the earlier video, all I've been doing is working lately. And I'm telling you, they lived off TV dinners. I'm not kidding. To your salmon here, what I want you to do is go ahead and sprinkle a nice... Oh, I got too much in my hand there nicely right over your salmon there you know some people like to use just regular salt but we're going to infuse this with garlic as well um so you might as well just use i wasn't even ready for this and we're going to use some pepper lots of fresh pepper i haven't bought any pepper for my pepper mill yet my real pepper mill so don't be judging this is a Judge free zone, go ahead and pepper it, and then we're going to do that on both sides. This is absolutely amazing. And you know what? We went out to dinner recently, and this this is the truth. This is the truth. And my kids both ordered salmon. And they did not like the salmon as much as they like mama's salmon. Some things are just so simple. I mean, it's, you don't believe me, ask the camera girl. She's the one that's, just go ahead and just... Oh, Jesus, just put so much garlic on that. I love a lot of garlic. And then some pepper. If you want to remove the skin, you're more than welcome to. I I find no reason to remove it. You know, I think it's beautiful. The presentation is beautiful when it's still on the um, fish there. All right, let's go to the stove. And what I've got here now for your wilted lettuce and onions. Now, this is a southern thing. This is a southern thing. Some people call it poor people's food. We were never poor at all. Um, we were never rich, but we were never poor. We were the mediocre. 
my, my mom made this. My mother is one of 17 children. So maybe that's where her mother got the recipe from, you know, uh, she had to cook for all these people and you know, shit, all you had to do is go get some lettuce out of the garden, throw some bacon grease on it and that's what they, I don't know, but it was, Mama, I love you for this recipe. It was amazing and I'm still cooking it today. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. So what I've done is I fried my bacon nice and crispy and then I left a little bit of the bacon drippings there because that's going to go right over top. That's why they call it wilted lettuce and onions. It's going to wilt your lettuce. It's good. It's good. I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, she's using bacon grease. I'm telling you, bacon grease is the bomb. So what I want you to do is go ahead and add some olive oil to your pan. And then we're gonna put the butter in there as well. If you've watched any of my other videos, I've told you there's a few of the recipes that um, I like to use. I like to use with uh, pastas and seafood, fish, all that. I like to, the combination of the two, the olive oil and the butter, because it's phenomenal when you're cooking. I like the, the flavors of them both. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this come up to temperature. Um, and then we're just going to take our salmon and we're gonna cook it. That's it. Our bacon's already cooked for our wilted lettuce and onions. So, I mean, it's this is something simple, something easy, but it's amazing. We love this. We love this. And we hope you love this too. So, let's, we're going to wait for this to get hot. My stove takes forever to get hot. But I did want to tell you, I already apologize for not being on here forever um, with some videos. So, what I'm going to do, Dasa May, I'm my dog. I already showed you. I already showed you. She is, she's a creeping. She smells the bacon. Um, what I'm gonna do, uh, I am off Thanksgiving day and the day before Thanksgiving. So what I plan on doing is maybe doing a couple live uh, videos during the day on Thanksgiving Eve, the day before Thanksgiving, because that's when I do a lot of my cooking. We're waiting for this to come to temperature. That's when I do the majority of my cooking. Um, I'm gonna, I'll show you I'm going to do a recipe later after this, uh, how to make, I'm going to show you how to make homemade breadcrumbs, the ones that are going to go in your uh, dressing, and they're phenomenal because I have a recipe on there for Italian dressing. Go ahead. Do I have some comments? One person. One person commenting? Okay. But anyway, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to show you how to make those uh, homemade breadcrumbs to go in your homemade cornbread dressing. I already have a recipe on my channel for the homemade cornbread dressing as well uh, it's phenomenal too um, but i am going to share with you throughout the day on um, thanksgiving eve because i'm going to be doing all my cooking and um, then i'm going to go ahead and show you know show you how to do some stuff and i already told you i was looking into getting maybe an 800 number for we're going to put this in here in just a minute it's almost hot enough i promise you see all that nice butter and garlic and Mm. You know what? See, I get to run in my mouth and I've already forgot to put the garlic in there. Jeez. I want you to go ahead and put the garlic in there. Just put that in there. And it, the, the flavors of the garlic is going to uh, just infuse right into the butter and the olive oil. And then just give that a swirl around. This is so good. And salmon don't take long. Don't be, don't be intimidated by fresh fish. It don't take long at all. And we're going to put this skin side down it's already starting to oh my gosh I, I wish you could smell this we're gonna put it skin side down and once it comes up to temperature if it ever comes up to temperature oh look at that that's gonna be beautiful we're just gonna cook these on both sides go ahead and get all that nice garlic salt on there and I've got this on about medium slightly over medium and you're gonna let these cook on each side, maybe for um, about three or four minutes. Um, you know, we'll we'll know the total time here. So that's that's all we're gonna do for that. Um, I think that's it for that. I mean, we just basically have to wait for this to cook. I'm gonna get a little bit a little spoon here because I'm gonna show you what I want to like to do with my salmon as it's cooking. I've got a piece of garlic on my finger. I'll put it right in the pan there. Oh, it smells so good. I like to take the butter 
the garlicky butter and then just kind of go right over top. Remember I told you to poke the holes that are little um, piercings in the salmon? That's what this is for. Look at it, it's already starting to turn nice color right there. Oh, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In the meantime, while we're waiting on that to cook, and you, like I said, you don't want to cook this real, not really fast, just about medium. I'm going to go ahead and show you, you can keep looking in there, what we're going to do with our bolted lettuce. This is super simple, and it's super delicious. All right, what I like to do is, let's go on back over here. So you can see, oh, that smells so good. You're just going to take your bacon and you're just going to crumble it right on top of your lettuce. This is so, so good. Stacy's trying to get some loving from the camera girl. She's been at school all day. And this is about a half a pound of bacon. Fried crisp. Oh, I wish you could smell that salmon. Somebody's wanting some bacon. Somebody better get down. Just crumble it right on top of there. No rhyme or reason for how big or how small you like it. I'm going to kick that dog's butt in a minute. Salmon's talking to me over here. Oh, it smells delicious. Now, my, my, I grew up on this stuff. My dad used to, um, he always had a huge, huge garden. Let me take a look at my salmon. Oh, that's phenomenal. He had a huge, huge garden, and uh, he always had leaf lettuce in the garden and mom would go out there or dad would go out there down here put them here and sprinkle those onions right on and like i said it's supposed to be green onions but we're going to use white onions because i forgot them somebody forgot them at the grocery store just a few more i can't tell you how good this is um but like i said mom used to get mom or dad would go pick the the lettuce out of the uh garden and she would just it took her like five minutes to make this. It was amazing. We loved it when when she made this. We absolutely loved it. I'm going to roll my lemon around a little bit. You have to roll it around a little bit to get some of the juices flowing. Plus this thing's been in there for a while, so no, I'm just kidding. And this is going to go right over our salmon when it's done. So let's go on back over here and see where we're at with the salmon. Oh, look at the edges there. You know what? I'm not going to stare at that. I'm going to get a... I'm going to find me a spatula. A spatula. For what I'm going to put it. And then just continue to... Oh, just bathe that salmon in that. Oh, beautiful. I'm just gonna let this go for a few minutes. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a winner of a dinner. I, it's, it's so simple, so simple. Beautiful. How many of you guys, I don't know how many is watching. I, this, is, this is probably, um, you know, this is my first few times, so. I realize people are just getting off work. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put the salmon. Like I said, this won't take very long. I think it is. Oh, well, I'm going again. Video. Beautiful. And you're going to do the same. Go ahead and drizzle that right on top. Kind of bathe it in there. And you're just going to let the salmon cook maybe for another three or four minutes. It doesn't take long. Salmon does not take long. 
and we're going to let that cook for a few minutes and then it'll be ready soon. And while we're waiting, um, a few things that I uh, want to tell you about. You know that um, I'm trying to get together uh, with a local pastor to start using this church to start making seasonings or because I have a lot of seasonings I've been trying to put together um, and they are they're fantastic and you're gonna want them you're gonna want them um, I already have mixtures that I use here at home and I want to start you know maybe selling them and I think you're gonna love them because you're gonna be able to cook everything I cook here have the same flavors and you're gonna love them so that is in the works um, like I said I'm gonna try to start getting together possibly at 800 numbers where maybe you can call in and ask questions on certain days or times or whatever and um, a lot of things in the works for Kids with Sandy. I'm just trying to get past the holiday season, you know, spin, spin, spin. I like to spin, so I'm trying to work my butt off. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and heat the bacon grease up because we're going to, it's going to go right over my lettuce and onion salad. This smells phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let me get a plate. Uh, to plate this up when it's ready. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to go back over a little bit with the, look at that, the butter and the olive oil. Just infuse that with it. Gorgeous. You can also, um, you know, do like little foil packets and put them in the um, oven, which is always nice to do. You can do that. You can top them with like asparagus and just lots of things there. And salmon is one of my favorite fish. It's so nice and flaky and tender and beautiful. And love it, love it, love it. Once we flip this back over, we're going to just squirt it with a little bit of olive, uh, not olive oil, with a little bit of lemon juice. we got that turned down because I don't want it to get too crispy too quickly. You can see the meat starting to get nice and tender there. Oh my goodness. Delicious. Now, once um, this oil comes to temperature, we're going to put it in the salad there, and then we're just going to mix it all together. And it's going to be amazing. Nothing short of amazing. I've got my lemon ready. I'm right to go. I'm right to eat. And after this video is done, I am going to, or this live video, I'm going to do a video of um, one of my favorite soups. It's like an Italian soup, Italian sausage and uh, spinach soup. It's delicious. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a video with that. We're not going to do that live because, well, my camera girl's going to be eating. So I'm going to do a video with that. And um, that'll be probably posting sometime next week. I might post it this week, you know, whatever I feel like doing. All right, go ahead and bathe that salmon again. Oh, it just takes a few minutes. Bathe that baby. Put it right over there. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. So good. It smells so good. Oh, I gotta find my foil. My foil. I'm gonna show you what else I like to do here. Just about the end of the cooking time, I like to tin it and turn it off and let it sit for just a couple minutes before serving. Just keep bathing and bathing. That just ensures that the, you know, that it is done all the way through. And plus it gives it time to um, you know, all the flavors are just kind of go through it to set it aside and let the flavors just marry. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's flip it over and see what it looks like. Hot, hot. Oh, it's tender. My finger's going right through it. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Can't wait to see my teeth ended up. Do a little bit more baiting. Look at that, it's so tender it's just thrown apart there. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Like I said, it just takes a few minutes to pick this through. Oh, it's delicious. And we're gonna turn this off. It takes a couple minutes and we're gonna tent it like that. Just let the steam go through it. Now what we're gonna do with our baking grease here, All right, we're gonna switch over to the other side. Now you wanna make sure that your bacon grease is hot. See how it's smoking and you're gonna pour it. Listen, I want you, you're gonna hear the sizzle. It's gonna go right over top of that. See, you don't need much. You don't need much. And then give it a nice dashing of salt there. Oh my goodness. And then you just toss it. I need another one of these four, these four. Just toss it together. Maybe one day if I ever become rich and famous, uh, we'll tell you about the little uh, blooper we had when we made this video. I mean, it's kind of funny. So and it's, the video has not been, it remained in the video. There was no way for me to take it out when I'd done this video, so. Oh, this is so good. Look at that. Usually you have the little green onions dancing around in it, but you know, it's my fault. I forgot it. I forgot it. I've already got my fork ready to taste this. Oh, lost a piece of bacon. Lost a piece of bacon. Why is not one up? Mmm. Oh my gosh. Now this is something that you have to use exactly these ingredients. You cannot not use bacon grease. You cannot not use onions. I mean, it's it's just phenomenal. I want you to look down in there. I'm gonna take me by that because I can't wait. Give me a piece of bacon to go with it. Fish me a piece out. Mmm. Oh Jesus, that's delicious. A little more salt. Mm. Oh, mother. You have no idea how delicious that is. Now, let's go back over to our salmon. Little squirt of lemon juice right in the pan there. One more little baby. And out it goes. Look at the beauty of that. Come over here in the light. Come over here in the light. Sorry, we're playing ring around the salmon here. All right, I'm going to show you how tender and flaky this is. I got to get my glasses on. Got to get my glasses on here. Look at that. Look at that salmon. Jesus. Oh, I got a seed on it. That's all right. Now, this salmon is going to make you want to go go to your mother's house and smack her lips. That's what you're going to want to do. This is better than restaurant quality. I'm telling you, it's better than restaurant, period. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the nice juiciness, juiciness. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And it just flakes apart. Look at that. And look at this. Mm. That is amazing. It is top quality. You're going to love this. Love it, love it, love it. Now, I have the recipe, like I said, already on my cooking channel. And this is Sandy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, tell me what you want to see live. You know I love you all so very much. So very much. And um, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm.